how to create an event on LinkedIn. Hi, my name is Chris Casalino, and I am the co-founder and head of services at Uptown Creation, a B2B marketing and business development company. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to create an event on LinkedIn. So events are really good to create if you're trying to promote a one-time engagement where you're going to have speakers, you're going to have an audience that you want to congregate for a specific purpose. So the good thing about events is there is going to be a lot of traffic that LinkedIn is going to give you organically to that event. You'll be able to notify the people you're connected with, which is one of the important reasons to want to gain your connections on LinkedIn is so you're able to promote things like events whenever you want to create them. And you're also able to promote a business or a page. So something that we will be using events for at Uptown Creation is as a free learning environment for LinkedIn trainings and the concept of social selling and things like that, where we're able to invite not only our clients, but also any prospects or future prospects to come and learn more about LinkedIn, ask questions, engage on a unique page, and inevitably drive conversations, discussions, and new business for everybody involved. So I'll show you the two ways to create an event. And really, it comes down to whether you're creating it for yourself or whether you're creating it for a business page. So if you're at the home page of LinkedIn, you'll see on the left-hand side, groups, you'll see followed hashtags, but then you'll see events. So if you hit the plus sign there, this is where you'll be able to choose the organizer. So I can choose it to be myself or I could choose it to be my company as long as I am the admin. You'll then be able to upload a logo, upload a profile picture for this event, as well as a banner when in a four to one aspect ratio. Then what you'll do is you'll use an event title. So, I'll just name it social selling. So the event name is pretty important. You can have up to 75 characters. So it's similar to like a YouTube headline or anything like that, where you want to include keywords that people would be searching. So for a LinkedIn training, having something like LinkedIn live, LinkedIn lead, lead generation, social selling, buyer first selling, all things like that. Then from there, you can choose the time zone. We're in central time. So I'll keep it at that. And then you can choose the start date for the event. So, you know, a lot of events are probably going to be just a couple hours long. So let's say that we were going to start at 12 p.m. on the 25th. Oops, I'm going to go to 26th. And then one, so this would be an hour long event. You just want to make sure that the dates are right and you're not making a multi-day event. So now in the description, this is where you can you know, put links to even your website. You can put links to other posts, other videos, things like that. But you can use up to 5,000 characters. So this is going to be really important for making it so it's a very searchable thing. So being able to describe the speakers, describe the topic, even have a basic template of what the rundown of the event is going to be. Those are all really great things to include in the description. Then in the speakers section, this is where you can add anybody who's going to be speaking at the event. They'll automatically get invited to join the event once you click the create button. And then you can include kind of a synopsis about them from there. Some of the last things are choosing the visibility. So you can choose to have a public event that anybody can come and search on LinkedIn and choose to join or you could choose to have a private event where you need an invite to be able to approve. And then you can even go further to say, you'll allow other attendees to invite their friends or you won't allow that. So something that is really cool that I think is if you have a public event, you can make it so they have to fill out a registration form. And so registration forms on LinkedIn are really, really powerful because they come pre-populated. 
So think as if it was, you know, a Google form or something like that, where your information just automatically populates. LinkedIn registration forms and forms in general are really, really valuable because they are so simple for the end user to fill out since it auto populates all that information with the information that people have on LinkedIn. So it auto populates, you know, their phone number, their email, their name, all of those great things. You'll need to include a privacy policy if you're going to choose a registration form, but that is okay. The last two things are choosing if the event will be online versus in person. A lot of events like this are going to be online and that's what LinkedIn is making a really big push for as well. So you can either choose to include a broadcasting link or if you don't include a broadcast link here, so if you don't include a link to a Zoom or another hosting platform, you'll do this through LinkedIn Live then, which is really, really, really powerful. If this video is helpful for you, please subscribe, like this video, leave some comments, find me on LinkedIn, check out our website at uptowncreation.com and let me know in the comments what other videos I should make. Thanks.